So now it's time to battle this guy here. Um, find user Venka Tsatsi. I can't pronounce that. But he challenged me. Good. So let's go. Ooh, he's using a Marowak as well. And this is probably adamant because he is now using Trick Room. <laughs> It'd be really interesting if he was using a Brave Marowak. Anyway, we should start with. Wait, he's using Trick Room. He's using Uxi. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Anyway, let's go with Turkle. Oh shit, <laughs> that was a bad idea. Do I survive a move? I don't know. I'm so scared. I want to get rid of this thing. I don't know if I survive. Oh, I survived. Oh, I'm so glad I killed him, because <laughs> that was a threat. That's very, very dangerous against my team. All right, Marowak. This is probably a brave one because he has a Uxie. Uxie is usually used for trick room, so... But this thing can actually kill anything. <laughs> he can actually kill a lot of things in my team. Can we go Carbink in trick room? <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Do we need carbink now? Well, well, well. It's faster than my carbink. Nothing really survives the Marowak, and my Marowak's probably slower. We have to stall. How? <laughs> Uxie will die to a shadow bomb. Should we kill Conkelder? There's five turns more. Oh my god, we will die. Yes, we'll have to let Conkelder die. Or even Sunflora. Yeah, I guess we have to let Sunflora die. God damn it. And Conkelder. Why? How did he switch out? He doesn't know that. Okay, he doesn't know. Maybe now it's our turn to go Marowak. Stun Spore. Never mind, let's go Uxi. And we Trick Room. Do we trick room? He's trying to trick room. So I tricked room and cancel the trick room. <laughs> what is going on? So now we read a U turn and go Turco. He's canceling the trick room. We love a plume. Okay. So we let this die. And then we go Conkelder. He goes Uxi. <sighs> so he thinks his Marowak is slower. So what we do here, we Mach Punch. We let this die. Oh my god. Why did why did he die? <laughs> That's so weird. So let's just hope that we survive. I don't think we will survive. But oh my god we did survive. Now we just stealth rock. Oh, we already have stealth rock. Ah. Okay, we memento. So, hopefully, I'm slower, and I will just shadow bomb. Yeah, nice. 
who's gonna protect her, right? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We might still survive a move. Oh, we did survive! Oh my god, that was a close battle. The Maraca is so dangerous. I should have Memento before instead of double Stealth Rock. I don't know why I did that. But it was a good battle. Thank you, Venka. I'm gonna just call you Venka. If you, that's okay. Thank you, Venka, for participating. So now we are gonna battle Counter. Counter. Is that how it's pronounced? Counter? <laughs> anyway. Alright. Um, fine, user. I'm kind of new on showdown. <laughs> so by now you already understood how Trick Room works, right? We set the Trick Room and then we should explode or just die to get a clean switch for our sweepers. In my case, Torko, Sunflower, Marowak and Conkelder. These are my sweepers. And Carbink and Uxie are my Trick Room setters. Torko isn't actually really a sweeper. I, I, I like to use it for Sun, so Marowak is kind of unstoppable so as some floor so let's see how it goes against this very generic team with Garchomp, Dragonite, Tyranitar and whatever <laughs> let's start with Torko because I want to start with the Sun since I have Heat Rock then that means I have eight turns of Sun and then I can switch to something like Oxy and set up the Trick Room So first, we Stealth Rock. <laughs> oh, he defog. <laughs> okay, okay. And then we Trick Room. Okay. And now we will U turn to. I don't want to go some floor because he has a Tyranitar. It's very hard to use some floor. <laughs> so we will turn to. Conkelder. I don't want to go straight to Marowak. I'm gonna go from Kelder. So there he goes, Amungus. He's not gonna spore, right? Probably going to Sludge Bomb or Giga Drain. So we go Marowak. Hidden Power Fire? Nice. Well, anyway, here we can just Floor Blitz. Oh, ooh, <sighs> he's a defensive one. Do we kill with a Shadow Bone? I don't think we do, because if Flare Blade didn't kill in the sun, but he's probably just going to Stealth Rock, right? Not Shadow Bone. Oh, yeah, just a Stealth Rock. But now he's faster. We can go Uxie. Oh, Dragon Tail. Yeah, I use Rocky Helmet on Uxie because it's very good against things like Conkelder and other physical Pokemon. So I am faster than Conkelder, even though I'm relaxed. I, yeah, I, I should be. I hope I am. I'm gonna Trick Room. I could Stealth Rock, but Trick Room is more important. And I think I have Stealth Rock here, so yeah. Trick Room. Oh, okay, he's faster. Okay, it's it's fine, it's fine. I should go Carbink. And I know I resist a Drain Punch. And we Trick Room. I don't know why he didn't Drain Punch, but okay. And I'm gonna Stealth Rock before I explode. Oh, actually. That's good. I can go Torko. And if he puts me to sleep, fine. And now, I can't really go Mara, can I? I can go Sunflower? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. I can go Sunflower and... Oh, f So, so, I can't Solar Beam. I can switch to Honk, can I? I would just Earth Power. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay, I don't know if I survive a sludge bomb, but I'm tired of this. 
clear smog. Looks like it doesn't have sludge bomb. Should I just earth power? I think earth power kills. Oh. Yeah, but it does nothing against the <laughs> Um Okay. I guess I can go con Kelder. Oh. I think he will switch out, so I'm gonna knock off. Should we knock off? I'm gonna knock off. How did I put rocks? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a car bank, right? Oh, okay. So, Kung Calder. There we go again. If I sacrifice some for. Maybe I need to sacrifice some for. Because Kung Calder is kind of useful against a lot of things, and some floor is not. So let's sacrifice it. You just knock off, guys. We go carbink. And we try. We try very hard to resist the drain punch. Mm, I have no idea why he's not using drain punch. But should I moon blast? Because I don't want to explode. I don't want to lose it. I mean, would I be able to use it again? Oh, I just died. So now we are faster. That means we could go Marowak. Yeah. And now we're gonna Shadow Bomb. And we are faster than this. So we are going to Boomerang. Boo. Bone. Bone Merang. Oh my god, I just realized. Bone Merang. <laughs> Please, no. Ah, he's predict. Okay. It, it's okay. Ah, that prediction hurt me. So now we we are gonna shadow bomb. Oh no! <gasps> we leave, but we will die to send send thing. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> we killed the tiny target boys. We need more trick room. We need more. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Let's just mag punch and crit him. <laughs> oh, we crit him. Guys, we crit him. This is probably banded, right? And there is my sleeping turtle. Don't know why I rapid spin. <laughs> GG counter. Well done. That was a good battle. It was really hard to use trick room against two dragons especially guard jump and then a tyranitar damn that was that was difficult thank you for beating me counter appreciate that so what i can say about this team for now is that it's very hard to use especially against sand or maybe any other weather because I need some flora in the sun to use to safely use solar being and get boosted. Same for Torco. And when they use sand, it's hard because Tyranitar or any other sand setter have more special defense in the sand, and they are usually very tanky, so they can take two hits from almost everything. And that would stall out the trick room, so that would be hard for me to keep sweeping. And they just counter it, and it's very meta in pro, so I think it would be hard for me to ladder with a trick room and the sun team. And also, the other reason why it's hard to use is that I need to have the sun and the trick room together, so that would take a few turns to set up both, and I would be losing some turns already and yeah it's just hard it's not recommended by smogun <laughs> and in pro is it's even harder because the meta is guard chomp tyranitar and everything the counter is sun and heatran is also another counter i mean heatran is just a 
natural, amazing counter for a Sun team. And in the Trick Room, is even harder because Magma Star would almost kill everything. So I can't switch out in a Heatran to set up Trick Room because then my Trick Room starters would die. So the conclusion is Trick Room is hard, but it's fun to use. So I guess I would get probably 300 rating if I try to use this team in pro but it's not something I would try to leather with because it, it'd be stressful. A lot of people use Garchomp and that would counter me a lot. Not Garchomp alone but Garchomp with Tyranitar and yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about this team? You, you can suggest something, maybe I could use something like what's the bug Pokemon? Skvalier? I don't know how to say that name but there is a very slow bug Pokemon that I was thinking on using and bug is good against dark, which is good against Tyranitar, and it's also good against ground. In that case, good against Garchomps. Anyway, I wanna say thank you, Rio, Raika, Luku, Iceflake, and Psycho for donating to my Patreon and being member. I'll be posting member videos only soon and I hope you like it. I also am almost done with your drawing, Ice Flake, by the way. I'll be hosting the quiz next month, so good luck. And thanks for watching until here, everyone. Bye.